A blood bank is where you hold all the blood. So we have fridges full of liquid red blood cells, frozen plasma products. We have liquid platelets. Pretty much all of our blood products are here in the blood bank. Workload is very unpredictable in the blood bank. Um, during the summertime, it's trauma season, so we get a lot of trauma patients in at all hours. On any given day, there would be a couple hundred blood samples that might come through the blood bank. And we have to know what we're doing. We have to be very knowledgeable in our little field of blood banking. Every single person here is very highly focused on providing the best care possible. Once we get our Trauma One page, we want to have blood products at the bedside within 10 minutes. That means doing our best to get blood out the door quickly. It means getting tests done quickly, doing our tests correctly, and following our procedures exactly. And it's all because we want to provide the absolute best patient care that is humanly possible. My job is to make sure that we have all the blood products that the hospital is going to need. Some of the things that I love about the job itself is just knowing that I'm actually doing something that helps patients. When we have the trauma pager going off and we're all working really hard to make sure that those blood products get out to those patients, at the end of the day, after busy days like that, going home and you know knowing I did my part to help save a life, like it's, it's kind of exciting. COVID has impacted the blood bank in, in a lot of different ways. Whenever we have a lot of things like this pandemic that was going on, we had national shortages of all kinds of different blood products. We just couldn't get enough donors out donating, and we're still having issues getting a lot of donors. There's, there's so many different moving parts in the blood bank, and it, it's hard to try and like pinpoint like how the gears would work because there's so many different orders that come down. But it's, it's just a big team, and we all have to work together as a team. We've got like the people on the front end that are there receiving the orders, and then they're also the last people to see those orders before they go out. And then we have the people in the back that are setting up product and running all the tests. So we all have to work as a, as a team and communicate really well. A couple weeks ago, we had a patient that went through 204 units of blood products within a four hour period. We all worked so hard, got those units out as fast as possible. The patient survived. At the end of that day, we were all like, wow, that was a really busy, stressful day, but we saved a life. With COVID, we've had a lot of stuff go out on back order and most of my job is trying to make sure that we get those same high quality products in so we can maintain quality patient care. We process almost 2 million samples per year and that it comes out to 5,500 samples per day. In just the point of care COVID testing, we've had 1,600 samples in February alone and that's in addition to everything that we do normally as far as the outlying clinics and also inpatient samples. So it's it's been a challenging year, but we, I think we've managed everything really well. So we do have a joke where we say, without us, doctors would just be guessing. They're very smart. They don't, you know, I don't <laughs> feel like that's 100% true, but we are really important in helping them. So the laboratory results that we give them helps them decide what is wrong with that patient and how they're going to manage their patient care. I've been with ARUP for six years, and I was at the university for four before that. So about 10 years in point of care testing. Point of care testing is testing done rapid at the patient's bedside. We do about 50,000 tests a month that are point of care by nursing staff. I really like the laboratory testing and the emphasis on making sure that everything is done correctly, procedurally, the same way every single time, and providing consistent results for the patients. It's more than one job. You are the quality person, you are maintenance, you are the tester, you are the trainer, you are multiple jobs in one, um, but it brings a lot of diversity to your job. It is very detail-oriented and concise, and dynamic, but really fun. COVID impacted us by needing to bring on rapid COVID testing in a very short amount of time. We had to learn how to teach people socially distance with masks on and to have them touch everything and be able to take care of their patients without compromising their specimens or exposing themselves to COVID as well. I like how integrated ARUP and the university are. We work very closely with all the different partners, really trying to see what works best for our patient, changing processes and procedures together um, to make the best possible result. I like knowing that I'm helping patients without having to be by the bedside, without having to have that kind of exposure, so. <laughs> it makes it a really great place to work. You know that everybody cares and everyone is passionate about their jobs. We're gonna treat you the same as I would my own loved ones. And I feel that from everybody in the laboratory. This feels like home and a lot of the coworkers in the blood bank, like, we're family.
Thank you so much to our University of Utah Health Lab professionals, ARUP, our partners. So much work is done 24-7, 365. Part of the first diagnosis of a patient receiving care in our system, you guys are there. Pandemic or not, you have done an amazing job. From the bottom of my heart, tip of my toes, top of my head, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your work does not go unnoticed by me, our leadership team, and our community. So thank you so much for all the work that you do.